Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, looks like a fantastic evening for us. Temperatures made it into the 60s. Now that the sun is going to set here around 7:30, 8 o'clock, it will turn cool in a hurry. Temperatures will drop back through the 40s, but boy, it's going to be a nice one here for the next couple of hours at least. Drier air has managed to work its way into the tri-state on the backside of yesterday's rainmaker. As a result, we were able to clear out skies, and boy, temperatures really responded to that March sunshine out there without any snow on the ground. We easily shot our way into the 60s today. I hope you enjoyed today. And hopefully, you'll get a chance to enjoy tomorrow because the weather goes downhill starting Friday morning. Looks like we've got ourselves another good soaker headed our way. Look at this tropical moisture building along the Gulf of Mexico tonight. This promises to, well, aggravate our already ongoing high river levels across the area. Matter of fact, Here's a look as we look across the river into Newport, Kentucky, and you can see the Ohio River about 51 feet right now, and it's going to rise back above flood stage and out of its banks over the upcoming weekend. It's 63 right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a north wind out there at around 10. Talking again about the Ohio River here, this is something we're going to have to watch, as I've been mentioning, I think almost every time it rains now, at least for the next couple of weeks. And it's not just what falls right here in Cincinnati again, it's what falls whatever in the Ohio River Basin, basically from Pennsylvania to down to West Virginia and to eastern Kentucky. All of that has to flow past Cincinnati. So here we are at just shy of 51 feet, climbing up to 53 and a half feet. That's what we're forecasting. To climb to by Saturday afternoon. We could go higher, particularly if we see the heavier amounts of rain that we are expecting across the region. Here's a look at future casts now. Show you what happens overnight tonight. We have mostly clear skies, but because of the wet ground out there, we very well could see some more areas of patchy dense fog first thing tomorrow morning. That would be worse around your river valleys and low lying kind of sheltered areas. That burns off pretty quick. Left behind a gorgeous day tomorrow. It will be absolutely terrific. Clouds will begin to increase tomorrow night, and by the time you wake up on Friday morning, look what races into the area. More soaking rains, and Friday pretty much looks like a washout from start to finish. It will be raining when you wake up. It will be raining when you go to bed Friday evening, and some of that rain, here's the problem here. Notice overnight Friday into Saturday morning could be particularly heavy with the rain wrapping up during the early afternoon on Saturday. And here's what some of the computer models are forecasting in terms of rainfall amounts, and this is worth Worrisome because not only are we raining right here in Cincinnati, but throughout the entire river basin, areas could pick up one to, in some cases, some of the computer models trying to indicate amounts as high as two and a half inches, and that is going to really aggravate the ongoing high water woes we have. So stay tuned for flood concerns towards the end of the week and the weekend. 35 for a low tonight with clear skies. Again, watch out for that patchy dense fog towards morning. Tomorrow, 58, beautiful afternoon underneath lots of sunshine. Here's your day planner 35 at 8 a.m., up to 50 around lunchtime into the mid 50s by afternoon. And there's your seven day forecast. There's the rain Friday into Saturday, a break on Sunday. Right now, those of you planning for St. Patrick's Day, it looks dry, sunny, brisk, and cool with temperatures in the 50s. Just one number below freezing there.